Robin Higgins, and this is Explain the Difference Between Ultrafiltration and Osmosis. All right, so let's take a look at our two schematics. Well, ultrafiltration is up here, and it's basically the process of taking something that's very dirty or messy and pushing it through a series of filters until you have a pure substance at the end. So this is actually the technique that a lot of cities use to purify their water because it doesn't involve adding any chemicals or um, you know using harsh things. So what we have here in our first little tube is obviously a very, very dirty uh, collection of water. So it has big particulates and it has small little um, other molecules that are infecting the water. And so when you push it through this first filter, um, a certain size of particulates will have to be left in the filter. So in this case, all of like our twigs, our really huge things got left out. And as we push it through a series of filters, um, each time bigger and bigger things, the pore sizes get smaller, so these bigger things get left out until the pore sizes are very small, like just uh, the size for a tiny molecule to get through. And then at the end, we have our pure water. So this is ultrafiltration, and the key thing here is that it requires that we put energy into the end of the system. So we are applying pressure to make sure all this water continues to go through. All right, so down here is osmosis. This is a lot different. So the way osmosis works is that you have a membrane here, and the membrane works that our little sugar molecules, or our big orange guys, they can go over this side, they can go to the right, but they can't ever come back because the membrane doesn't allow it. It doesn't have the correct pore sizes. So after a while, you have all these little sugar molecules and they've all ended up here because due to the random movement of molecules, they were all going to eventually find this membrane and once they get over here, they get stuck. So because of that, uh, they're actually lining up on this membrane and they block some of the water molecules that can go back and forth from returning. So as a result, the water level rises here because the water is pretty much trapped here because it's all clogged here. And this, this is osmosis. So both of them have the effect of having something large going to one side. Um, but in this case, it's for a very specific purpose and we're doing it so we can get pure water and we're applying energy. In this case, it's a natural phenomenon that pressure differences can be created if you have a membrane like this. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What is the Difference Between Ultrafiltration and Osmosis? Mm -hmm.